Hello everyone, thank you for watching my videos. Welcome to this one. So today we're going to look at another Sims house. This time the Sims 1. Last time you saw an example of a Sims 4. Today will be Sims 1. So we'll have a bit of that nostalgic feel today. Today we want to examine one that's nearly at the middle of the screen circled in red. That's in a little map called Old Town. It comes with the Unleashed un Expansion Pack. For many of those people who will know who's played the game. So we're, what's circled in red is called the Vanilla Home. Now if many of you notice, The uh, Sims is an isometric game. And very grid based. I built a model of this house and redesigned the interior using that grid and you will see it in just a second alright let's jump into this so what's circled is the vanilla home as you can see coming into the next photo here and as you see it's isometric with a grid and the house walls are snapped perfectly onto this grid and this is just the outside of the house. It's very plain, very simple, but you know what? It, it's considered a canvas. And I think the description of the house says, like, with sim with more imagination than means. So, yeah. And I did make some ch my own changes about the exterior as well as the interior, and you will see that here in just a second. So, this is the street view of the house. We're going to go inside it, as is in The Sims. As you can see, the walls are down. It's very simple. And as you can see, look at the grid pattern again. Making this house was very simple. All I had to do was follow the grid, count however many squares that made up the house. So, it wasn't hard at all. The hardest part was redesigning it. But as you can see where the walls are cut away, where the doors, windows are, I didn't really use that. All I did was use the exterior walls. I didn't move any exterior walls, but all the interior is completely redone. And the windows are kind of different, and you will see that in just a second. House here only has three rooms, one bedroom, one great room, and a bathroom. But that's just The Sims. It works in The Sims, but I don't think how well that works in real life. And you'll also notice something. Look here at this front door. You will see where the tile is. We're going to give it, say, about that's about a three-foot wide front door, right? So then, that probably makes that tile probably 3 foot 4 by 3 foot 4 inches. Which is just about 1 meter. Almost equivalent to 1 square meter here. As you can see, like people all around the world can play this game. And so that's probably what it is. You know, it's probably a meter by meter squares a piece. So you can see the squares. So here, showing you what I drew in SketchUp. I drew the square, and you can see the dimensions, 3 foot 4 inches by 3 foot 4 inches, which is just about 1 meter by 1 meter. And here's a person. You can move him off the square. So yeah, that's about right, you know, then you can open doors, put different furniture pieces there or whatever and you will see so with those squares I drew out the layout of the house as you can see count the squares and that's what I did and with these squares made them into components and then I traced them. 
Then, you know, I made my own walls. Walls have thicknesses, so they'll come off the squares just a little bit, maybe by a few inches. I'm speaking off of the English measurement system, but you'll use centimeters anywhere else in the world. I don't know why we don't use the metric system, but I guess I don't. So, but that's what you see. Now, this is my redesigned interior and exterior. Although you notice the house was white in the beginning, it had only a few windows and a few rooms. Well, that's what I mean. I, I used the inspiration. But what I did was I drew it as is exterior wise, and then I just redrew the interior. I added a lot of things to it, as you can tell, like the porch, the awnings, the chimney, and all the other bedrooms, and well, even a whole lot of different windows. But as you will see here in this next frame, I used my grid. Now obviously, as you see, it's, it fits perfectly, but the wall thicknesses vary in real life. So I tried to make this house more or less real life. And the walls on the exterior are a little more thicker than the ones on the interior for a good reason. Well, obviously, because I made I chose to make the house brick. And I made it brick. So it's had to be a thicker wall on the exterior. So as you can see, um, the end of the grid, hopefully you can see my cursor, the end of the grid versus the end of the edge of the wall. Now in the sim game, you will see that the walls have thicknesses as well. So, um, whatever grid squares are to be used, a little bit smaller than the actual grid square. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, then it does. But it's like, uh, never mind. All right. Well, so as you can see, the grid, the house. A house with the grid. Then, you can see my version of it with the roof on. Now, I know the first thing you're wondering, the roof looks a little bit different. It does. As you can see, on the right side of it, that right wing, notice that little piece, hopefully you can see my cursor, but this piece here, as you can see, is not as tall as the rest of the ridge. This piece here is taller than the ridge. That's because I added the porch. The porch, I thought a lot about it, and I was thinking of making it exactly the same as it was as this. But I decided to add the porch to give it character and give it sort of give it more of that retro theme so I added the porch and it altered the roof a little bit but still even with the porch it's still exactly the same as this grid exterior wall wise so that didn't change so here's that final comparison Yeah, when I looked at the house at first, I actually, what clicked was, you know what? That really does have that 50s kind of feel to it. Uh, with that big picture window, and the bedrooms on one side of the house all together kind of thing. The kitchen and dining room in the back. As you can see, as you saw in the last pictures. So... I just thought I'd work off of that. And as you saw here, I think I did quite well. And now, I'll give you a three-dimensional tour of my model. Which is right here. So, Three to, you can tell it's three-dimensional. I, I just turned it. Now I'm going to shut up and you're going to enjoy the tour.
As usual, I send you around the house twice. So here we go again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, there was that house. Now another thing is, I want to go back to this frame because it's very. You'll find it interesting. The grid versus the house. Now in The Sims you're confined, con restricted to a grid and you can only build walls according to the grid you can only place furniture according to the grid blah 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 but in SketchUp in which this medium I'm working in now you can do whatever you want you have no grid and you can make any measurements so that's why when I made my redesigned version, I was thinking of closets and multiple bathrooms, laundry rooms, you know, that sort of stuff. And there was no grid involved when I was redesigning the interior. However, I stuck with the exterior walls, which made this relevant to the Sims. But as you can see, this grid here, this side, you notice where the grid squares are versus everything else inside the house. Obviously, I'm off grid on most of it. But you know, so you got a lot of things you can't even do in The Sims that you can do in SketchUp. So, The Sims has given me a lot of inspiration for some of my own work. And the work I did here is scratch build. And, you know, I thank The Sims for that. And, you know, I just decided to fill in my own bubbles. And what else? One last thing to note is that, you know, I mean, obviously the grid is constricting, but thing is, so then you're you can only put like so much in a house in the sims you know like one bedroom or one bathroom is probably best but here you know you can actually squeeze in so much more you have three bedrooms and two bathrooms all sorts of closets all in the exact same amount of space which I find is really cool and there's all that again and then what actually got me into this, which got me the idea for this project, was a user by the name of The Sim Supply. He played this house with characters in The Sims, where in The Sims you can make your own people and move them into the house and all that other stuff. That's really cool. So he played this... Um, and I'll send you a link to the video in case you haven't played this particular house. I'll send you a link to the video that got me the idea to do this. Even though I played The Sims a long, long, long time ago. It's always good to watch YouTube videos. And, you know, it gets me to remember. And then it also bounce, gives me ideas to bounce off of. So, yeah. And I gotta say, thank you very much for watching as usual. If you liked it, please rate, comment, subscribe. There'll be a lot more.
And I will put a link to his video in the comments below. Alright, enjoy. Have a great day everyone. Bye.